Good evening, everybody. I just had the most amazing thing, like, so, oh, I can't even begin to explain it. So as I sat here, I was reading this, this actually this article or this book that uh, one of you had sent me, one of, one of, uh, of the book of one. And as I read through it, I had only gotten a couple words and it was talking about how um, you know incarnate into these different lives for different reasons and I started thinking you know, about myself and my path and everything a lot of you don't know too much about me But I can tell you I've been through some shit. And um, it just, I was sitting here thinking, um, you know, why, why this manifested in me. And, um, you know, just this whole line of reasoning. And what my character for who I f physically am um, brings for other people to identify with and I started thinking along the lines of how the person that I used to be and the person that I am now are, are, are different and I don't even know who I am now and um, I started, the, the, I, I've started following the voice and the path that speaks to me, and um, I've, I've, I feel a strength within it, and it's become stronger and stronger, and it's come to the point where I do not doubt it anymore, and I rely on it. And me relying on it has strengthened it, and I perceived it as talking to me as if um, I was a child, and it it, you know, it it was leading. And I was thinking about you know the music and the stuff that I do, and um, and uh, my name. And, just came to me that I that, that my name was wrong and I was exploring that avenue and I asked what is my name and immediately um, I was given analdysis and I was like oh, so I so I googled to see if it was a word, and this has happened numerous times. I've been given words that I've never heard of before that actually mean the most amazing things. But I was given um, okay. up analdysis and I see the first word that comes up is analysis so I look up analysis I'm looking at the definition and um, it says 
careful study of something to learn about its parts, what they do, and how they are related to each other. The separating of any material or abstract entity into its constituent elements. And I didn't think, I, I didn't think, you know, and the, the word was, um, like I said, analdysis. So I didn't see anything with the dysis in it being the base word. So I looked up the definition of dysis. And it says a few a few um, acronyms and then it has the meaning of the name. Apparently it's a Greek name. Meaning origin and in astrology it means something to do with the West. And then I came across the literal Greek word dysis. And I thought that, that would was the best that's the the root word. The etymology of it is dysis. So, as I read through the dysis definition, its number is zero. It's one time in the Bible. And it says the definition is Mark 16.8. So as I went to Mark 16.8, I decided to read the whole chapter of Mark 16. And it says, And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, and Mother Mary of James and Salam had brought, bought sweet spices that they may come and anoint him. And, the, and very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulchre at the rising of the sun. And they said amongst themselves, Who shall roll us away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And they, he saith unto them, Be not affrighted, ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen, he is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, and tell his disciples, and Peter, that he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him as he said unto you and then here is the eighth and it said and they went out quickly and fled from the sepulchre for they trembled and were amazed neither said they anything to any man for they were afraid then it says the very next verse the ninth one now when jesus was risen early the first day of the week he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that had been with him, as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was alive, and had been seen of her, believed not. And after that he appeared in another form unto two of them, as they walked and went into the country. And they went up and told it unto the residue, neither believed they them. Afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat, and upbraided them with their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they believed not them which had seen him after he was risen. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world, and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved but he that believeth not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. 
In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. I was literally in tears. Um, there's so many other uh, synchronicities and stuff and, and things, but this is amazing. The chances of, of this the like as I said it was Mark 16 8 Mark 16 9 is the very first statement of Jesus risen if, if you don't understand the importance of that uh, short video I just wanted to uh, I was just absolutely mind blown with that but um Mark, Mark chapter 16. You know, I just wanted to get that out there. I, I, I couldn't even believe it. Stay vigilant, stay tuned. So, as I go to post this video, I, I realize that the length of it is 11 minutes and 43 seconds. Which, if you've seen my other videos, about 43 and 44. And yeah, 11 being the master number of, you know, the, the gateway. And holy shit, man. Like, this is, this is, we're living in different times. And not only that, but 16A meaning um, 8 being the month of August that I've been talking about and talking about. And just, just, holy shit. Six and one, seven, divine number. There's so many, so many things. But um, yeah, I just wanted to. I just thought that that was ironic too. So, sheesh. It obviously isn't anymore because I cut a little piece out of it and added um, this this ending on, obviously just to prevent any of the the, tr the trolls from uh, saying, well, it's not a 43 now. Like I said, I cut a small piece out and, you know, added this on. But pretty amazing.